50 Airedale Terrier Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. The Courageous and Spirited Airedale Terrier is a large-sized dog. In fact, they're the largest among all terriers. Male Airedales stand at approximately 23 inches in height at the shoulder and weigh between 50 and 65 pounds, while females are slightly shorter and typically weigh around 40 to 55 pounds. Number 2. Airedales have also earned the nickname the King of Terriers due to their large size. When you combine that with their high intellect, fearless nature, and loving temperament, you'll see that their moniker is well earned. Number 3. These dogs are characterized by their large sized bodies, well proportioned terrier shaped heads, V shaped floppy ears, erect tails square and sturdy frames, and small dark, lively eyes. These characteristics contribute to their unique and attractive appearance. Number 4. These terriers boast a medium-length black and tan coat comprising a rough top coat and a soft undercoat. Their wiry and dense coat is predominantly black and tan, showcasing softer, longer hair on their legs and underbelly. Number 5. The AKC breed standard specifies a black saddle with tan head, ears, and legs, or a dark grizzle saddle. The best coats often blend grizzle with red in the black, mainly in the back before the tail. Airedales also come in non-standard black or solid red colors. Number 6. Some Airedales can deviate from the standard, appearing in non-standard black or solid red hues. There are also short-coated red line types, reminiscent of the breed's early days, with shorter coats. However, these uniquely coated Airedales cannot be registered with the AKC. Number 7. There is a larger version of the Airedale known as the Orang Airedale Terrier, bred primarily as a family guard dog and for big game hunting rather than for confirmation shows. Unfortunately, these larger Airedale Terriers have a low success rate in confirmation shows and the overall health of these dogs is a concern. Number 8. Every household with an Airedale has a story of losing household items, a well-known quirk among Airedale owners. These terriers are notorious for gathering human items like socks, underwear, and children's toys, considering them their prized possessions. Number 9. Airedales, like all terriers, have a natural inclination towards digging, sometimes right in the middle of a lovely flower garden or a well-kept yard. Trying to train this digging behavior out of a terrier can be nearly impossible, so it's best to designate a specific area where they can dig to their heart's content. Number 10. These dogs are also quite vocal. Like most terriers, they'll bark to alert you to minor concerns like an approaching stranger, discontent with their routine, or even a squirrel in a treetop. Number 11. The breed also has a tendency for chewing on objects, so it's important to provide them with a robust crate or kennel and appropriate toys when they're not under your supervision. Number 12. Airedales also possess a strong prey drive and will chase after smaller animals like rodents, birds, and even cats. To ensure they don't give in to this instinct, it's a good idea to keep them on a leash or in a secure area when outdoors. Number 13. These guys, unlike many other terriers, are generally sociable with other dogs, but they won't back down if confronted or challenged. Number 14. According to Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, Airedales rank 29th out of 79 dog breeds in terms of obedience intelligence. They typically require 15 to 25 repetitions to learn new commands and tend to obey the first command 70% of the time or more. Number 15. Staying true to their terrier heritage, Airedales can display a strong sense of independence and occasional stubbornness, sometimes ignoring commands altogether. They may choose to follow a command only if it aligns with their interest. Number 16. These dogs have a natural inclination for water, a characteristic deeply woven into their heritage as a breed originally designed for water-related tasks. They love swimming and partaking in various water-based activities. Number 17. As a generally healthy breed, Airedale Terriers typically have an average life expectancy of 11 to 14 years. With proper care and affection, some individuals may even surpass these expected lifespans. Number 18. Like all dogs, Airedales are susceptible to certain health issues. Common concerns in the breed include hip dysplasia, allergies, hypothyroidism, progressive retinal atrophy, umbilical hernia, von Willebrand's disease, and cancer. Number 19. One of the most serious health concerns for Airedale Terriers is bloat, also known as gastric dilatation valvulus. This condition involves the twisting of the stomach, which can obstruct the esophagus, cause gas accumulation, and ultimately result in cardiovascular collapse and death. Number 20. In a 2004 survey conducted by the United Kennel Club, Airedales were found to have a median lifespan of 11 and a half years, which is comparable to the lifespan of other breeds of similar size. Number 21. The survey provided insights into the most common causes of death in Airedales. 
According to the results, the primary causes of death were cancer, responsible for 39.5% of fatalities, followed by old age at 14%, urologic issues at 9%, and cardiac problems at 7%. Number 22, Airedales have a high pain tolerance and a stoic nature, making it difficult to notice signs of distress in them. Owners should stay vigilant and monitor their pet's behavior for any injuries or irregularities. Number 23, originating in 1853, the Airedale Terrier, the largest of the terrier breeds, was created by crossing a rough-coated black and tan terrier with an otter hound. This breed was purposefully developed for hunting otters in water and rats on land. Number 24, initially known as Waterside or Bingley Terriers, they gained popularity within 12 years of the first crossbreeding. These dogs were soon showcased in the Broken Hair Terriers class at the first dog show in the Air Valley in 1864. Number 25, following its recognition at a dog show, the Bingley Terrier received high praise, igniting greater interest in the breed. Amid debates about the breed's birthplace and name, a group of enthusiasts joined forces to rename them the Airedale Terrier, a title that was officially acknowledged by the Kennel Club in England in 1886. Number 26, the initial Airedale Terrier imports to America occurred in the 1880s, with the first Airedale to arrive on American shores named Bruce. The breed received official recognition from the AKC in 1888, and the Airedale Terrier Club of America was subsequently founded in 1900. Number 27, today, the Airedale enjoys a notable level of popularity in America, boasting a dedicated fan base. As of 2022, they held the 65th position out of a total 199 dog breeds on the AKC's list of most popular breeds in America. Number 28, a well-bred Airedale Terrier from a reputable breeder typically costs between $800 and $1,200, while those with excellent pedigrees can command prices exceeding $4,000. Number 29. In 1910, the Airedale Terrier Club of America introduced the Airedale Bull as an enduring trophy, a tradition that persists to the present day. This prestigious award is now displayed on a hardwood pedestal base, adorned with engraved plates featuring the names of the numerous dogs awarded Best of the Breed at the National Specialties. Number 30. These dogs have also shown their grit in the First World War demonstrating remarkable courage and loyalty. They served as messengers, sentries, carriers of food and ammunition, scouts, and also ambulance dogs, ratters, Red Cross casualty dogs, sled dogs, and guard dogs. Number 31, an Airedale named Jack played a heroic role when a British battalion faced isolation due to enemy actions. Despite serious wounds, he successfully delivered a crucial reinforcement message ensuring the battalion's rescue. Sadly, Jack succumbed to his injuries and after his death, he received the prestigious Victoria Cross for his bravery. Number 32, at the start of the Russo-Japanese War in 1904, the Russian embassy in London reached out to Lieutenant Colonel Richardson for Airedale Terriers to help evacuate wounded soldiers from battlefields. He dispatched these Terriers to serve in communication and sanitary roles. Number 33, after the initial imports perished, Airedale Terriers were reintroduced to Russia in the early 1920s for the Red Army's use. Special service dog units, established in 1923, deployed Airedale Terriers in various roles such as demolition, guarding, police tracking, and casualty services. Number 34. In the 1930s, when Airedales were being bred like livestock, a handful of American breeders created Orang Airedale variant. Captain Walter Lingo of LaRue, Ohio, spearheaded the development of the Orang Airedale lineage. Number 35. The name Orang was derived from a lineage of bent champions, led by King Orang II, an Airedale renowned as the ultimate utility dog. King excelled at retrieving waterfowl and upland game, freeing raccoons, herding cattle and sheep, and bait mountain lions, bears, and wolves. Number 36, King the Orang Airedale demonstrated his exceptional abilities by even engaging in a fight with one of the top fighting bull terriers emerging victorious. He also underwent training for Red Cross work and went on to serve the American Expeditionary Force on the front lines in France. Number 37, the breed recognized for its bravery during the First World War was among the pioneering breeds chosen for police service in Great Britain and Germany. They became one of the earliest breeds employed for this role. Number 38, these dogs excel in a variety of sports and work activities. Today, many individual Airedales actively participate in agility, obedience, and hunt tests, offering both mental stimulation and a channel for their abundant energy. Number 39, Airedales, owing to their hound ancestry, possess remarkable olfactory abilities, enabling them to easily detect scents. This quality makes them 
an excellent choice for scent work trials. Number 40. The famous American actor John Wayne earned the nickname The Duke thanks to his Airedale named Duke from his childhood. Regular visits to the local fire station with Duke led to the firemen to fondly call them Big Duke and Little Duke. Number 41. These dogs have also made appearances in Disney's 1996 live-action 101 Dalmatians. An Airedale Terrier played Colonel a character originally portrayed as an old English sheepdog in the animated version. The choice of an Airedale was based on their trainability. Number 42. Monty, a mixed-breed shelter rescue believed to be part Airedale and part Schnauzer, played the role of Tramp in the 2019 live-action Lady and the Tramp. Number 43. Two Airedale dogs, one owned by Colonel John Jacob Astor IV and other by William E. Carter, were lost when the RMS Titanic sank. Astor, the real estate mogul, also perished in the tragedy, while Carter and his family survived. Number 44. Three consecutive American presidents, Woodrow Wilson, Warren Harding, and Calvin Coolidge, each had an Airedale Terrier. Their dogs were named Davy, Laddie Boy, and initially Laddie Buck, which was later renamed Paul Pry. Number 45. During the Great Depression, Paddy the Wanderer, an Airedale Terrier, roamed around Wellington, New Zealand. Loved by cab drivers, laborers, and sailors, they chipped in for this dog's license. Paddy was known for greeting and sometimes towing away with sailors in the port. Number 46. An unnamed Airedale has made multiple appearances in various episodes of the American animated sitcom Family Guy. Number 47. An Airedale Terrier named Ruff is owned by the Mitchell family, who are famous for their appearances in the 1951 comic strip Dennis the Menace. Number 48. In the 1993 autobiography My Life and Hard Times by James Thurber, there's a story about his Airedale mugs who had a habit of biting people. Number 49. Jerry Halliwell, a member of the British girl group Spice Girls, once had an Airedale Terrier named Hugo. Number 50. Airedale Terriers have caught the eye of major brands as well. Vogue has indeed named the Airedale Terrier one of the most stylish dogs at the 2020 Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Alright guys, and which of these Airedale facts intrigued you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.